Please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Supper. Lord God, we thank you for those gathered here today safely. It is because, Lord, you have helped us and guided us in battle. And you have helped many to come home to celebrate our freedom to worship you. We thank you, Lord, for this day of independence, independence from tyranny. Help us, Lord, to guard our country against tyranny. Help us to prevent enemies from within and without. Help us, Lord, guide us, forgive us for our mistakes of the past, and help us to go forward with more encouragement from you to worship you and to bring honor and glory to your name as well as to our country. I ask these blessings in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. And her husband, Tony, who did all the uh, lugging, getting everything to our trucks, uh, our auxiliary president, Pat Burner, will be handing out boxes of cookies and tea while the supply lasts. The tea is courtesy of Bigelow Tea Company. At this time, I would like to this time I'd like to call up Past Post Commander Mike Mastrangelo for a presentation that I'll let him explain. High school students at Cedar Park High School in Cedar Park, Texas. Very quickly, the story behind this story is what's so important and so relevant today. About a month ago, I received a call from my daughter who lives in the Austin area, excitedly telling me that the boys at Cedar Park wanted to present a flag to the VFW here in Katy. Uh, our reputation is, really does extend quite wide and they know we're an all state post and they know that we have done much for the community. And I said, sure, and I picked it up last week. This is a flag that was done by high school students. Now here's the story behind the story because it should give us comfort, especially in today's uh, environment. Apparently, their coach was motivating their students who were complaining that they were simply bored, there's nothing to do. And he said, you want something to do? How about you help make flags with me? And, and you'll learn what these flags represent and why they're so important. And a number of the students got together and after trials and error, they started to make these flags. Over 300 of these flags were made over the course of the last few months. Different types of flags, flags celebrating uh, the, the police, flags uh, with different color arrangements here, and flags that were symbolic of some of the uh, EMT services. To, they were used as fundraisers, but for the VFW and for the police organizations and the EMT, they were given as donations, as a tribute to their respect for us. So think about it. We finally, in, in, in a small town in Texas, we'll see a group of young men and women making these flags under the auspices of a coach who's trying to instill upon them the importance of this symbol and what it really means. And 
one could take heart because when you turn on the TVs today, all you see is ignorance and, and uh, stupidity coming from our from many of our young. And this has got to stop. And this might be just the kind of inspiration that will help stop this nonsense and, re and remind our children that they are so blessed to be in this country and to have what they have. And at the same time, remind our children that the very people who they shout vulgar epithets at are the ones that are protecting them when they most need it. And this exercise, I think, helped in that regard. So I'm very proud to accept this uh, this particular uh, flag. It will be will be placed in our hall. Uh, Don uh, assured me that we will have a, an appropriate uh, placement uh, as soon as we can get back into the hall and, and the membership is all there. But uh, but think about it. At least in one place, why at this time we're winning. And that's the good news. Thank you very much. And happy birthday to the greatest country on the planet. What I am presenting is a flag made. The unanimous declaration of the 13 United States of America. When in the course of human events, it becomes necessary for one people to dissolve the political bands which have connected them with one another and to assume the powers of the earth, the separate and equal station to which the laws of nature and the laws of God entitle them. A decent respect to the opinions of mankind requires that they should declare the causes which impel them to the separation. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all myths are created equal, that they are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights, that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, that to secure these rights, governments are instituted among men derived in their just powers from the consent of the governed, that whenever any form of government becomes <coughs> destructive of these ends, it is the right of the people to alter or abolish it and to institute new government, laying its foundation on such principles and organizing its powers to such form as to them shall seem most likely to affect their safety and happiness. Prudence, indeed, will dictate that governments long established should not change for light and transient causes and accordingly, all experience has shown that mankind are more disposed to suffer while evils, evils are sufferable than the right themselves by abolishing the forms to which they are accustomed. But when a long train of abuses and usurpations pursuing invariably the same object invites a design to reduce them under absolute despotism, it is their right it is their duty to throw off such government and to provide new guards for their future security. Thank you very much.
When she was halfway through, a young black fellow walked up and he asked if he could join her. And they did. That's the way we can get along with each other. Not by tearing down statues, breaking windows, and beating up on each other. And I hope that we see more of that in the coming months. Chaplain, will you please present your closing prayer?